Okay, I want to give you some feedback on your work. Um, I think um, this has, I feel like this hand is okay. I think both of these two hands have some problematic areas. Um, for example, the proportions of the index finger don't look right when compared to the thumb. Um, and the way the kind of knuckles and the start of the finger is resolved here isn't looking right, and also the thumb is sort of lacking sort of structure there. So um, I think this photo um, I don't think is doing a lot for you because you know the colors are pushed to the extreme. Some areas have been looks like maybe you blurred and darkened some areas, but I'm not really sure that there's a clear kind of logic to it. Um, yeah, and that one. That one, I th again, I think is problematic. Um, in particular, this text is almost illegible. Um, and the, the colors are so blown out, it's a bit overwhelming. I think it's good that you have storyboards in there. I think this one is one of your stronger pieces in that it's clean and it's doing this sort of, um, I know it's not like two point perspective, but it's it's doing the sort of perspective lines correctly. Um, that one's okay. And yeah, that one's good that you have more storyboards in there. Um, I think I mentioned last time that this one I do not think this is a strong piece because there's some pretty severe problems with the perspective, like this sidewalk is incorrect and, you know, um, like the, this, the, the writing and these things aren't respecting the perspective lines and um, so, and it's just, I don't know, the placement of this building and that one, it's just, it looks a little unfinished in here. I think that one is uh, good. You should keep that. Keeping that. Keep that. That one's one of your better ones, but the question I asked last time is it looks more like a... Parts of it look like a like a, fo like a photo or something that was had some kind of effects or treatment on it than, rather than an actual figure drawing. Um, so I'm just wondering you know, if it's, it's not really clear exactly what you did on that one. And it's really inconsistent with the rest of your drawing and drawing style. Um, yeah, I think that one's... This one I'm not sure if it, it sort of fits that well with with kind of your body of work. And so, yeah, I think, you know, I'd stick with what I said last time, which is to kind of, you know, you really need to go back to the fundamentals with drawings and that kind of stuff. I just want to go back and look at um, the last one, uh, if there was anything else, yeah, okay. Yeah, so I think that if there's any storyboards that were in this batch that aren't in the new batch, you could trade them out, for example, for this image um, or for, you know, trade out for that image if you have additional storyboard frames. Because if your focus is storyboarding, sort of the more storyboards you have for human point review, the better.